give yourself what you want others to give you and you will get it from others too. Self-image is self-made. But unconscious people allow other suggestions and opinions shape their self-image. And that is what most of us fall prey to, including myself. Because we all start unconsciously. We have very little awareness of our own inner world and our own mind as we come to this world. Thus, we get shaped by everyone around us. But the moment you become conscious of your own mind, your self-image is your responsibility. And that is what I want to reveal to you in this video. You want love. Love and accept yourself first. You want riches. Believe that you are worthy of riches. You want compliments. Compliment yourself first. Your self-image is not a concrete and immutable thing. It is malleable. What you decide to put in it now will become solid in no time, so long as you persist. And when you have the ideal details in your self-image, it will start to shape your reality. If you understand the teachings of Neville Goddard, then you know that we become what we think about. So, the world reflects back to you what is inside your self-image. It is a snapshot of yourself in your subconscious mind. An identity or a persona. That you think you are. But guess what? You are not it. You are formless. My entire channel is based around this concept. To reveal it to you that you are formless. What you call yourself is just a story. An identity. A persona. Once you change the identity, your entire world reality will change. The world will treat you exactly how you treat yourself. It will give you the exact amount of wealth you think you are worthy of. It will give you the kind of love you allow yourself to have. This is all very insidious and subconscious. So, it might go under your conscious radar. And only by cultivating self-awareness and monitoring your thought patterns can you see this back-end programming that is running your life. But all you need to do is identify these patterns, but don't try to fix them. I would suggest to not try to dig up what is wrong with you in order to fix it. Or what programming is right now ruining your life. Just observe it and let it go. Don't try to fix what is wrong. Rather, choose who you want to be now. As I said before, your self-image is malleable. So, what you decide to be now will override whatever the old programming was. If you always had financial problems. Don't try to fix the broken self-image of a person who overcomes his or her limiting belief about money. Rather become that woman or man who is overflowing with abundance now. And you can only do that when you know who you are. Here is a practical way for you to construct your new self-image. Take a piece of paper and make two columns on it. The left side is your current self. Write down all the problems and limiting beliefs of this current self on the left column. And give it a heading, old self. Old, because it is no longer who you are. Now on the right column. Give it a heading of current self. Current, because this is what we are embodying now. And with each problem or limiting belief on the old self column, write a counter new self belief or solution to that problem in the current self column. For example, love is hard for me. 2. I am so easy to love, and love comes to me so effortlessly. I never have enough money. 2. The universe is always in abundance. And my supply is unlimited, and now I am a channel for divine abundance to flow through me. I have always been sick and weak. 2. Divine Mind has a perfect image of me, and now I am a channel to this perfect, healthy, and full of vitality, self-image of me, to be expressed in my life. Now that you have your new self-image, stick to it. And it will solidify in you so naturally, that you may even doubt it looking back. You see, if you think from your human self, then changing self-image is a tough battle. As human self is full of limitations. But if you think from your higher self, then self-image is as malleable as clay you can shape it into anything. As you are formless. So, you decide who you want to be, and then trust your subconscious mind or your formless self to do the work. And this is how you change your self-image effortlessly. What is required from your human self or ego self is a simple thing. That is to persist with your newly concepted self-image. Don't fall back on the old image. If you do, don't dwell on it or condemn yourself for falling back. Just drop it and fall in love with your new self-image. Encourage the new you more so each day. And soon it will start to become natural to you. It is a process of self-abandonment to attain self. And self that you desire. And it becomes way easier if you do it from your higher self and not your human self. I have made a video on how to think like divine. I will put a link in the description of it. But the idea is simple. Your formless self is the essence of divine in you. And divine is all that is in this reality. 
So, divine has taken legions of forms. It can become anything. And it is everything. So, since you have the essence of divine within you, it is your formless self. So, it can, by the gift of divine, become anything as well. So, your self-image is malleable. What you put in it and remain persistent with, will become your new identity. So, start now and shape yourself. And do not pay attention to others' opinions. As that is the unconscious way of impressing your self-image. That is what we all did till we became self-aware. So don't worry if someone points out at your financial problems. Or reminds you of any lack in your life. That is the old self-image playing. Soon to disappear into the ether. As the new image solidifies. No one's opinion or anything outside of you has any bearing on your self-image from now on. So, let the reality of the old be. Do not react to it or fight it. Just be indifferent. If you react, be gentle with yourself and do not condemn yourself. You see, even in condemnation, the old self has your attention, so it stays. As it keeps on getting fuel from you. So just in love for yourself, let the old self be. Even have compassion for it. As you shift to the version of you that you have chosen. Not your parents. Not your partner. Neither your religion nor your race. But you. You have chosen the self-image, and no one can alter it but you. Keep feeding your divine self with all the lovely qualities that you want in your self-image. Like a beautiful body, good health, lavish income, harmonious love. Keep thinking and feeling on these ideals. And in no time, you will start to see these ideals being externalized. More so each day. And the more proof you see, the more you will become confident and natural about it. And this is when it will become your new programming. That runs on autopilot. So, abundance will flow naturally as it is now your new self-image. Love will flow naturally. Health will embrace you naturally. This is all that you need to know to construct a high-class self-image. Which Abdullah said to Neville. That you have already gone to Barbados, and you have gone first class. For those of you who do not know this story. Abdullah was Neville's teacher who taught him the law of assumption. Neville wanted to visit his family in Barbados, but he did not have a dime. Not a penny. So, Abdullah told him that imagine yourself each night as though you are already in Barbados. Neville did it for about a month and out of nowhere, his big brother sent him a letter containing money and a ticket to Barbados. But the ship that Neville had to board to get to Barbados did not have first-class seats available. As most of us would, Neville accepted whatever was available and told Abdullah that you won't believe what happened, I am going to Barbados, but not first-class. But Abdullah shut the door on Neville, saying that, who said you are going to Barbados. You have gone to Barbados, and you have gone first class. You see, Abdullah was trying to teach Neville the first class elf image. That do not accept anything less than first class. And lo and behold. The traveling company called Neville and told him that someone had cancelled, and now he can travel to Barbados first class. You see, what you put in your self image is what you get. If you don't think of yourself as a first-class person, then the world will not treat you as first-class. Your self-image is telling the world who you are. So, begin now and shape yourself into something magnificent. And live a life that is worthy of who you really are.